Hey everybody, welcome from Wisconsin where everything is melted and it's beautiful out. Um, but I just wanted to um, talk today very shortly about uh, the next clue. But first I wanted to turn to the book. I'm in the, on the, the chapter called The Totem Cafe Caper, so page 47. And um, the things that I've come across related to Canyon, you know, of course, um, you know, he's talking about his summers uh, selling newspapers um, and he talks about the deep potholes on Canyon Street. They were often filled with water. There was fair game for every car that bounced by. And then um, he then talks on the next page about um, he ends up getting this uh, this job, you know, at this, the Totem Cafe where he has to scrub um, dishes and pans and he ended up with these deep canyons in his hands from the scalding water. Um, so I don't know, you know, I mean, it's one of those things where, you know, you read and then it kind of hits you. Um, I actually think, and, and what I want to do is get your thoughts on this, but, um, you know, the deep canyon or the canyon down, in my opinion, you know, it refers to um, a canyon that for me is right next to the Where Warm Waters Hall. Um, and like Michael had said in his video last week, um, and what I had said actually also, I have these criteria for my Where Warm Waters Halt. And the second criteria is that the Where Warm Waters Halt needs to have a canyon next to it. Um, and, um, but, you know, I, I actually have, I made up this drawing, you know, so, so, um, and it might be reversed, but, so here's my where warm water solid, and so, and then here is my canyon next to it, so, um, so the phrase is, uh, you know, that the, the poem, begin it where warm waters halt, and take it in the canyon down. So, um, so the question then, of course, is what is down? Um, for me, you know, I mean, different interpretations could be uh, southward. So take the canyon that's south of where warm water is um, Another one could be, you know, take it downstream. So the canyon is going downstream, you know, take it down. Um, my, my interpretation is that it's down in elevation. Um, but also downstream. But, but the other thing, you know, that I'd like to talk about and open up for discussion is the idea of contiguous. So Forrest has said in an interview, you know, or he said it several times, so there's no denying this, but he says that the clues are contiguous. So, so here's my question to you. Um, if you have a where warm water salt here, and you have this canyon, so begin at where warm waters halt, take it in the canyon down. And so like the river actually continues along this way. Actually, I'm sorry, the river continues down in a kind of a southerly downstream selection uh, section. So if there's a canyon that, you know, if you have in your solve, like a home of brown that's here, and there's a canyon that that does connect with this other main canyon. Um, to me, that seems like it's not contiguous then, and so that might be that might be something that would rule it out. Um, so I guess my question to you then is, you know, when you look at that statement by Forrest, you know, the clues are contiguous. Is your canyon in your home of brown, are they all connected, um, or, or do you think that there's uh, this sense of, um, you know, that something like a, a, a splinter canyon, or I mean, does that does that factor in for you? And so I'd like to hear what your comments are for it. I believe that you can have a splinter canyon um, in your solve, but you know, certainly, 
um, if you know if you don't have one, if the Homa Brown and the Canyon are are contiguous, I mean it seems like it might be more um, it have more uh, credibility. I'm not sure. Um, so anyway, so that's all I actually have for you um, today. I I just wanted to throw that out as a question. Um, next Saturday, I want to talk a little bit more about um, Home of Brown, and you know I'm going to look more at the book and look for different things from the book. Um, you know, I have some words that I've kind of marked, um, such as, such as bluff. Um, he talks a lot about bluffing, um, and you know we'll kind of look at different ways that bluff can be used. Um, but anyways, you know, for now, I just wanted to, you know, get your thoughts on, you know, whether you think the canyon down needs to be um, contiguous with the where warm waters halt and the home of Brown. Does it need to be, um, I guess, something that connects the two exactly? Or if there, there's room, you think, for um, interpretation? The other thing, you know, that is often said about the canyon down is, you know, there's a debate on how far it is. Some people feel that you really only need to go a short length, and um, others feel it might be 10 miles, um, and still others think it's 30, 50 miles or, you know, longer. Um, I think um, the idea of, and we'll talk about that as well, um, you know, it being not far but too far to walk, you know, what is that distance? It could be, you know, I've been, like I said, I've been doing some research and I found that it's, it could be many different things to people. So, uh, my interpretation is it's 10 miles, but, um, and that's from the preface from the book, Too Far to Walk, but um, I'm not going to, I'm not going to rule out a solve, you know, based on distance. Because um, there's other things that can rule it out, and so with this, you know, I just wanted to ask you about the about contiguous. What does that mean to you? So, what does contiguous mean to you? So, anyways, you have a great rest of the weekend.